construction site is that we're not going to make it fully as pretty much as they are. No, they don't think you have to do both. Working with landowners. I'm real estate. How are you? My name is Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Um, so uh, there's compensation paid to landowners for the negative impacts? What we do is we pay 100% land value for the easement. We go in with an appraisal. If, if your um, property is affected by the transmission line, we meet you with the appraisal and the easement and all the other documents that pertain to your property. And we go through them. And if you agree to that, we sign all the documents, we write the check. Um, if you don't agree to our appraisal, you can always get a second appraisal. You hire an appraiser, and then we negotiate with the two appraisals. So, um, how, how far from the power line? Just under it, or where it's actually located? or In that easement corridor. They're 150 feet wide. 150 feet wide? Yes. But the, how tall is the power lines? Anywhere between 120 to 140 feet tall. But that would have more of an effect than just 150 feet wide. Because of that easement is only affecting that property, that's who we, that's who we buy the property, the easement from. Because it's on their property, we have to use their property, and that's why we purchase an easement. But again, it would affect more than just right under the power lines. You know, all the stray electricity, the affecting animals, uh, you know, all the, uh, the the view and stuff, it would affect more than just right under the... So, so okay. how, how wide is the easement? It's 150 feet wide. And how tall is the power line? 140 feet, 120 feet tall. That's all? Yes. Isn't there some areas that is taller than that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> um, what you're talking about, the stray voltage, yeah. is actually um, from distribution lines. Um, it's when your barn or your water lines aren't grounded properly. The cows can get shocks off the waters or the concrete or this is a metal in the barn. Because it's near the power line. No, nope, because it's distribution line. Your distribution line isn't grounded from, from your power main. It needs to be grounded. And back when they used to do the farms, you know, 40 years ago, they didn't ground properly, or a ground breaks off, and then the cows oh, start so then shocks. properties near this would have to do upgrades to grounding and other things to not get the stray voltage. It's possible that they would have to do that. The stray voltage is from distribution lines that run directly to the barns. Oh, well, what do you call it when you get a field off the main line itself? That's EMF. EMF. And? And that affects... And that's the flyer. No, of the easement flow. Okay, where that easement is going to cross your... And everything has EMF. So lights have EMF. Well, yeah, but having a massive line coming near your property, even if it's... If you're not right underneath it, you're going to be affected nearby. Well, the studies show that it's it's not necessarily. Um, we're going to go with the 345. Okay. At 100 feet away, we're getting at the most 12 megagauss. Oh, Mega what? Mega Goss. Mega Goss? Uh, I'm sorry. Mega Goss? Yes. Mega Goss is a measuring of EMF? Yes, of electrical magnetic field. But then so, if you look um, over here, it tells you exactly the things that you use every day. So at that point, um, your microwave has more than that. Well, just because other things are dangerous doesn't mean that we should discount the danger of this. That's right. That's why we show this. We want you to know that you know, there's, there's EMFs and everything. Right. And so how many children get leukemia by living what distance away? What kind of studies have done, been done on that? There have been a lot of different studies done on that. Because like, people that live near substations getting leukemia and stuff is fairly well documented. How about the power lines themselves and how much... Like, is there a study to saying how many children are going to get leukemia within a mile of this thing, you know. There are many, many studies out there. And um, engineering can tell you more about that. Which is which one? Engineering, I believe, is straight across the right. other side. Yeah. Okay. And they can give you a little bit more background on, on EMFs and things like that. 
And you have more information on the landowner system? This is routing and siting, and this tells us how we come up with the route. And this one talks about what an easement is and, and how we come up with property. They do have a before and after. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day.